We're probably the largest EDM job shop in the country with uh, 55 wire machines on the floor, so we have tremendous capacity. A lot of what EDM is about is fast turnaround, the capability of uh, if bar stock comes in, you can write a program and immediately cut the part. Hi, I'm Dave Carlson with Adron Tool, also known as Adron EDM Specialist. We're in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. It's uh, you know, southeast Wisconsin near uh, Milwaukee, Milwaukee suburb. EDM is, stands for electrical discharge machining, and therefore the part has to conduct electricity. I always call it the ohm meter test. If you can put an ohm meter to the part and it flows current, there's a good chance we can cut it. So it is all metals and alloys. A lot of uh, the gas and steam turbine or power gen industry and aerospace use titanium inconels, high temperature alloys that are very difficult sometimes to machine. Almost Some are almost unmachinable, but they EDM very well. Some of the other things that we've done with exotic materials and development is the twisted shape. We did our Adron logo to traveling wire EDM. It's, it was showing the capability of all the things you can do with the programmable axis. It's a full five axis machine. So there's actually physical applications now where people have learned what EDM can do and this all is generating better performance for the components. That the normal wires used in EDM these days are for cutting larger parts is 10 and 12 thousandths diameter wire. And the wire is acting as the electrode. It's just the electricity is doing the cutting. The kerf that it generates is about a thousandths overburn. So it's a very narrow, small kerf, very precise. And in doing that, it uh, cuts a very sharp, tight corner. So most EDM is, is used for the reason of making intricate shapes, sharp corners. And of course, EDM is one of the tightest forms of machining metal components there is. We're doing gauging work, things like that. So it's a very high tolerance capability. We can hold three microns on a complex shape. We've got an example here of a finished part. It's a round part. If you start it off, looked at this on a blueprint, you'd say, well, I'm going to buy a round bar. And kind of typical. We're going to use round bar. What you can see what we did is we planned it out of plate because there's a lot of milling and undercuts in a delicate part that would cause machining distortion, burrs, and problems if you were to try and mill it after you cut it. It has very tight tolerance ribs. We made it out of plate. All the milling was timed. Pockets were milled on both sides, all timed. We were able to stack them, which is another advantage of EDM. The thinner the part, we can stack into the one to two, three inch range. So these were then stacked with all these cuts, four high, and every time we made a cut, we had four finished parts, burr-free, stress-free, very accurate. We were the first to have the uh, very large machine that could handle a uh, 10,000 pound block, 32 by 40 cutting zone. And again, we're looking at parts that you can hold in your hand. They're very tiny, little, intricate shapes, but we've gone to mold blocks that are 32 by 40, 18 inches thick. But here's a, a form die that we did some testing in, and there is a one millimeter hole drilled through seven inches of tool steel, just to show. Now, on a smaller scale, here's a hardened tool ball, and we've drilled a small half a millimeter, 20 thousandths diameter hole through that, at a, right off to the side. So there's no real cutting pressure or distortion when you're using EDM, and that could be used as a start hole or possibly an oil hole or something like that. So when uh, you need some EDM, it's easy to get an, a quote. It's just an email or a phone call away. And